Hi there again, uh, this is Scott here from EdgePath. I've got a question from a student about uh, doing using the Poisson distribution. So Poisson happens when we're, when we're told uh, that something happens at a given rate per time, or an average per time, or per area, or something like this. But we'll always see the word average associated with it. It's, it's distinct from normal distribution, where we would have the average, and or the mean, and the standard deviation and we'd be told it follows the normal distribution, so we use the z-value. Or binomial, where we have uh, some event either happens or doesn't happen, uh, and we're told the probability it happens. But for Poisson, we have an event, and we're told it happens at a given rate, or an average time. And then we're usually told it happens to the, according to the Poisson distribution, so, um, which is a naturally, sort of a natural process, but so, so in this case, we're told a restaurant gets an average of six customers by right lunch, and that's going to vary some. So, and and the restaurant owner knows that it can needs at least two customers to cover its cost. So, we want to use the Poisson distribution, or assume this follows the Poisson distribution, and we want to find the probability that there is exactly zero customers. Our strategy would be instead of finding probability there's at least two customers, we can find the probability that there's zero and one customer, and then finding the converse of that. So, so if we if we actually calculate the probability of two customers, we need to do two, then three, then four, then five, then six, and so on. But I'll write out the formula we'll use. Um, gotta copy that. Um, so for a Poisson distribution, at a rate of, the rate is lambda, that x kind of looking thing, and then the number of times it happens is x, and we can calculate the probability using so this, uh, e to the minus lambda times lambda to the x over x factorial. And here, the average is 6 customers per hour. And we need a Let's see, and then let's see, we're going to start by calculating, uh, not two, but zero probability that there's zero customers for A. And then we'll plug in. So we've got E to the minus six times six to the two, or six to the zero, over x is zero, so zero factorial. And we pop that in the calculator and get it. And get in the calculator, 0.00247. And then for exactly one customer, same formula. So e to the minus 6, 6 to the 1, over 1 factorial. That's going to give us. And then, let's see, so we've got the probability there's zero customers, then one customer. So we've got the probability there's zero, and then probability there's one. We've got those two. And that in total is, let's see what the sum of these two is, 0 0.00247. those to get the total probability of being 0 or 1, and I pop that into Google to get 0.01735, and so that's the probability of getting 0 or 1 customers, so the probability of getting 2 customers would be, or probability of getting at least 2 customers is 1 minus 0 0.01735, and then we simplify that, and that would be the probability that he has at least two customers, so, and then that, so that's the probability covers his costs, so point, point 0.982 looks like about, so pretty high. So I hope that uh, makes sense, uh, the, the sum distribution, uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, otherwise, good day.